this is going to be tough. Um, I'm, I'm a new father, very, very late in life. Um, and I, I avoided that responsibility because I was afraid. Uh, I had uh, sincere uh, fears. Uh, I think those fears were well founded. Um, and I was also deeply, deeply intimidated. Um, I, I, in the, the, I gravitate to Socrates because of the, the, the phrase of uh, know thyself. And I think all change needs to start from within. Uh, when you enter relationships, it's no longer about yourself. It's about you, it's about your partner, and it's about the relationship. Uh, and you need to act not only in your partner's best interest, but in the relationship's best interest, and in also your own interest. So it's very much like the mind, heart, uh, gut, uh, uh, simplex, you know, the, 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 those three functions of the brain, uh, that system. When you're dealing with a child, that goes beyond your relationship with your partner. That child has become now a manifestation, a, a fusion of the two of you, literally through genetic material. Uh, and it didn't have a choice. It did not enter into that relationship willfully. Uh, it's something that you and your partner developed and it came about because of your actions. You then become responsible for that individual. Uh, if we talk about relationships requiring sacrifice, I would sit down and say your children require greater sacrifice. You know, um, I think in many instances we, uh, throughout all cultures, would look at parent parental sacrifice, both male and female, feminine and masculine, sacrificing for their children is not only normal but absolutely necessary. Um, you're going to have to weigh that individually. You're going to have to look at the context in which you're talking and living and experiencing and how to best address that. I would sit down and say regardless of the decisions you make and the context you face, choose admirably. Uh, and if you do that, you're still going to make mistakes, but you're not going to have regret. Uh, and that's something I brought up in my talk, uh, and it's something I firmly believe in, and it's, it's a philosophy I'm taking from others. But it's, it's in the heat of a moment, long-term thinking. Think and choose admirably. If you do that and think in the best interest of your child and pour your resources into the future, into that child, you're going to make good decisions. So... Kind of building off of what Sock said, I think one of the biggest mistakes that we make is we believe that we sacrifice for the things that we love when the reality is we love the things for which we sacrifice. I've got a daughter who's four, a son who's two, and I've got a third on the way. We're old school and we want to have like five or six kids. And sometimes I as a dad feel guilty because I'm on the road a lot or because it's not mentally stimulating for me to be at home with them and spend two or three or four hours at a time doing the same wrestling match over and over again and you start to feel guilty about it. But the reality is, is if you're making that sacrifice for them and you find ways to make that sacrifice meaningful for you, then you don't have to chase your fulfillment, you don't have to chase your stimulation, you don't have to try to find that in travel or in building this other empire and doing anything else, you can find it within the unit of your own little family. The other thing that I would say to that is, it's your job as a father to provide for them. And so if you are building up your career, if you're doing things that help provide for them, even if sometimes it comes at the expense of quantity time with them, that's part of your job as a dad. And so you're not doing it at the expense of it, you're doing it because that's what your responsibility is. And so as long as you're not doing things that hurt your family and come at the expense of time with your family, but they build it if it comes at the, the expense of time with them, then you're doing your job as a father and you're living up to that responsibility. And if you try to see that time that you get to spend with them as challenges and ways that you can actually grow and, and chase those things that you're seeking in other things like travel or hobbies, then you not only get the quantity, but you get the quality of that time with them and you benefit from it just as much as they do. Do you have kids? Me? Yeah. I do. So, how old? One. Three years old. Three years old. Do you see him or you're split? We're together still. Okay. Father. And you want you want to be together. We want to be together. So, uh, check this out, man. So, when I was 28, I had my first son. He was born. Had kind of a crazy relationship. I don't like to talk a lot of shit because both of us made decisions that you have to be responsible for. We had another child. And uh, they're great, they're great kids, man. There was a lot of time where I was around them. There's a lot of time where I was doing a lot of cool stuff when they were born too. And we had, we had good times and probably things were 
things were not done right. There were a lot of crazy things. And I know we've talked about all these like war stories with women. My kids are gone. I don't see them. I was like accused of abuse in multiple ways to the point where I do not see them. And that is the, it, what I feel the smartest choice. It's a hard decision. I've talked with, uh, well, Mike about it quite a bit. A lot of, lot of tough decisions there. I have a family now where a lot of good things happen, right? And it's, and it's amazing. And I have a lot, right? I have a lot. But I know what it's like also to be like, well, shit, I went into court and child support got stacked on me at 1700 bucks just because I was unprepared. I know what it's like to have it go up to three years. I know what it's like to be into, you know, $13,000 in debt. I know what it's like to be slammed by this person. I, like, you know, and so there's all this, like, pursuit of fucked up stuff that, that goes on with it. And, uh, man, to be a dad, there's all these great concepts and all these great situations, and I've lived the good and the bad of both. But also to be a dad is to learn to be responsible in the ways that you can, you know? Having fun and all those things, it can happen in so many ways. But how can you do it and, and still be there, and not, not in the way that you know, we're saying you have to be, but in the way that you can be? What does a son want? You know, and how much can you do that? And so these are, I mean, these are tough decisions of mine, you know, of where I have to live with and work with them. But I'm totally prepared to live them. You know, I'm not running from them. I, I don't want to run from them. I, I want them to happen, but I also have to be smart about it. You know, because if, if, I believe if you're in a relationship that's, that's, there's a lot of damage that is happening if you communicate, you shouldn't communicate, okay? Like I'm all for connection, I'm all for expression, all the stuff I talked about, but there I drew the line. It's just not safe in the moment. And so a lot of things, a lot of people lose, you know? So uh, how can you be responsible? You gotta be wise, you gotta talk to a lot of people. If you have a, a child and you have a relationship, man, live for that. Easier said than done, you know, man. You know, way easier, it's not just a fucking concept, right? So, I don't know, we could talk about it more, but there's a lot more to it than I think what you're asking.